It was March 2005 when Ronnie Price donned the Wolverine Green for the last time at the McKay Center. With his team trailing Northern Colorado by three points early in the second half, Price rolled out the kind of performance that made him one of Utah Valley's all-time greats. Price scored 27 of his season-high 36 points as the Wolverines swung the game into their favor for good. With the crowd chanting, Ronnie's priceless, Coach Dick Hunsaker pulled Price after he made his sixth three-point basket of the game with less than a minute to play and the outcome secure in the senior's final home game as a student athlete. After the final buzzer sounded on the Wolverines' 71-52 victory, Price kissed the UV at center court and embraced his coach on the sideline. When he knelt down and kissed the middle of the floor, it was a really, really sweet, precious moment. He's just, um, he's awesome. He doesn't, he doesn't do a lot of crowd things like that, um, but I think he was trying to show the school and, um, and the crowd that he appreciates everything that they've done and the support that they showed him and everything like that. And it just, it was a great send off, I think. It was an emotional moment in one of the most storied careers in UVU athletic history. A Texas native, Price was the quintessential underdog when he came to UVU. Price's athleticism was never in question, but as a five foot seven prep star, his diminutive frame created doubts about how he would fare at the college level. Everyone else in my family calls me Little Ronnie because I was always the little runt, but uh, feisty. And they said I always wanted to fight. I would get mad and want to fight you if I lost in a game of Uno or anything. If I lost in tic-tac-toe, they... So I guess a lot of my family used to let me win. So they say, used to let me win in a lot of things, but really I think I was just better than them. Whatever he was doing, he wanted to win. He's all about winning. If it's playing cards, bingo, whatever, he likes to win. He do not like to lose. He's a very so loser. Oh, what Ronnie what Ron was like when he was a little boy. Very active, very active. Just bouncing balls, anything he did, he was just very active. Um, he was a poor loser. If he played basketball, didn't win, he got real angry. They played Uno, but however they was playing at the time, he wants to be the winner all the time. And he would get very upset. And he's still like that today. If three phenomenal seasons in Orem didn't erase those doubts, then his resume as a professional athlete certainly has. Now in his fifth year in the NBA, Price has established himself as a dynamic athlete, tireless worker, and a consummate professional. Signed as an undrafted free agent by the Sacramento Kings in 2005, Price became the first Wolverine to enter the NBA directly from UVU. He gets the call from Sacramento, inviting him to come and play up there in the summer league. And I go, that's the chance, that's the break. His agent called and they had a bet going and they said, when, when you sign, you'll buy me a steak dinner. And, um, and he just called them and said, you owe me steak dinner. And right then, it wasn't in the media, it wasn't in anything, they just made a verbal commitment with his agent. And right then, Ronnie and I walked Right then, Ronnie and um, I walked outside and he told me, and we just sat and hugged and we just cried because all of his dreams just came true at that moment. And it happened. And he called us like the second night of the second game crying and said, Dad, they just signed me. And me and my wife broke down right there with him. I have never been more ecstatic and happy for somebody in my life. Just his his calm, but confident demeanor that he he was he was he'd taken the next step in life and he'd actually attained his dream, and uh, just to share that experience with him because that was the day that he found out that um, he he had actually signed and they were going to make an offer to him. Uh, it was priceless. Uh, it was I'll always remember it, and uh, I was honored to to be there to share that with him. When Ronnie started playing for the Kings, I thought he was like the coolest guy in the world. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be like him. In a game against the Utah Jazz in November 2006, Price exploded for 16 points off the bench, including a monstrous left-handed dunk over all-star forward Carlos Boozer. The play became a highlight reel sensation and was nominated for a slew of awards. 
It was Price's overall game, however, that caught the attention of the Jazz, who brought the six foot two guard back to Utah with a free agent contract in 2007, then re signed him last summer. Seeing a family member reach the dream that they've been going after their whole entire life, it's like you're so, I don't know, I don't want to say proud, but you have so much pride. Um, just basically just growing up with him, I just know that that, that was a, his, his true love was basketball. Like that's all we ever talked about. Uh, you know, he, he, was, he was a fierce competitor. He just loved the game and that's just something that, you know, I was just very happy because I just figured that he was living his dream. He didn't change. It wasn't like, it was a big thing, but I didn't look at it that way because he was still playing basketball and he's been playing it all his life. It was just at a bigger level. So, I was proud of him. Growing up in a small Texas town of Friendswood, Price demonstrated from an early age a unique athletic ability and an unquestionable competitiveness. He was, he was dedicated uh, to sports at a very uh, young age. We would have Sunday dinners, and Ronnie was never there. And his mom would always say, oh, he's going to come. He'll be here. He's playing basketball or he's playing football. And I knew then that that was his heart. Ronnie played everything. Basketball came later. It was actually football and baseball where I started to see, you know, his true talent. Because Ronnie was a quick learner. He would see something on, on the NFL on Sunday and then the following week on Saturday do the same move in the game and get the same outcome. A prep star at Clearbrook High School, where his sisters now stand out on the basketball team. He kind of inspired me a lot. Well, me and my sister have a special bond. We shared a time together, and everyone who went to high school with me, everyone who played basketball with me, remembers this. Uh, my sister is eight years younger than me, so I was in charge of her in the summertime when I had a vehicle and could move around and do some things I babysitted her. And that was a time when I was training a lot. So everywhere I went, my sister was with me. I had, you know, and this little six, seven-year-old girl, eight-year-old girl with me everywhere I went. Just spending that time with her, we got very, very close. Price was an exceptional athlete from an early juncture. Early in the season, he broke a, a bone in his uh, right hand. Therefore, that looked kind of grim for the season. So uh, they put a cast on it, of course, and he was on the floor probably more, or uh, practicing with that left hand almost as much, if not more, than the rest of the team practice. He was always kind of in the way sometimes because he was shooting the ball, passing the ball, dribbling the ball, working on his left hand, and every now and then he'd use those fingers sticking out of his cast to control the ball. And to make a long story short, uh, by the time he was released and, and he was back in, on the court, he was a better player with his left hand and his right hand together than he was before he broke his hand. In sixth grade, when all students were required to participate in a standardized test for aerobic capacity, Price sprinted his way to 83 laps, a record that stood for 15 years. The pacer is part of the fitness test that we give in elementary school. And it's a time test where they have to run back and forth between the two end lines in the gym. And it's how many laps they can do before they can't run anymore. And it, it progressively gets faster. When Ronnie was in sixth grade, he set a record of 83 laps. That was 15 years ago. For students to even get in the 60s is really great. Children are always wanting to know who's, who has the record in this, you know, and I would always tell them, Ronnie Price, 83 laps. And this year, we had a student named Dylan Massengale got to 85. My favorite NBA basketball player is Ronnie Price, and beating him makes me think that when I grow older, I can have a career in sports because he's such a good athlete. We're here at Landolt Elementary, and I'm here to present Dylan with an award. He broke um, Ronnie's pacer record. Ronnie held the record for 15 years, and Ronnie just wanted to give Dylan a small little token in celebration of him breaking his record. So I'm presenting this jersey to Dylan from Ronnie. Congratulations, Dylan. I have some definite memories of Ronnie. One memory is in a basketball game. He was dribbling down the court and a defender came up to him and he went up in the air, did a 360 and shot a basket. Now, you don't see that very often in elementary school. Price is also reputed as a persistent goal chaser a trait perhaps best illustrated by how he met his future spouse. During the recruitment process, Price received a brochure about Utah Valley from Coach Dick Hunsaker. 
Enamored by one of the cheerleader's pitchers, Price joked that he would find her when he got to Orem. The cheerleader was Jennifer Bybee, and Price did indeed find her. The college sweethearts were married in 2008. Oh, yeah, that's him being a father, that's still pretty. You know, every time I look at it, it's just like, wow. That's a little Ronnie right there, you know, but um, he's a great father. You know? Jenny's like, she's like family. She's like a little sister. You know, as, soon as, as soon as I met her, it's like I see why he was, you know, he was with her. Uh, he is an absolutely excellent father uh, to his little daughter, Brielle. She, he's, just, he's just super with her. He's a wonderful, wonderful husband, and he's a terrific son-in-law. The biggest thing we love about him as a brother-in-law is his that he just fits in. He laughs with us, he's funny, he gets our little sister. They have the cutest little funniest relationship that's just real and that's the biggest thing about it is, is he's real. Over the years, Price's passion, determination and a good nature have helped him find success as a professional and in life. Best qualities he has, he's a tenacious player. He's one of those guys that you know that uh, when the game is tough, uh, when the game is heated, he's one of those guys that, that you're going to want on your side. It's his heart. You know, I think that's his biggest, uh, you know, his, his biggest attribute is his heart and how hard he plays. And, um, you know, he just, he just never gives up. He's a, he's a fighter. He goes hard all the time, goes 110%. Um, a guy can score the ball um, with great ability. A guy can defend and do a lot of things on the court. As an athlete at the collegiate and professional levels, he has been an extraordinary ambassador for UVU. I don't think we'd be inducting Ronnie Price into the Hall of Fame at Utah Valley if he, if he wasn't such a, a wonderful individual. Ronnie Price, uh, it, it's easy to describe who he is and what it is he represents. And, and I tell people all the time that, that Ronnie Price is a better person than he is an athlete. He, I think he represents that university very well and it shows where he came from. While Price continues to write his story as a pro basketball player, the newest inductee into UBU's Athletic Hall of Fame will always be remembered as an unforgettable fan favorite and one of the most prolific athletes ever to run with the Wolverines. He made you want to be better and I think that was, that was something that was very inspiring about him is that whenever we had the chance to play, uh, speaking of me and him, whenever we had to play I always wanted to be and play better because I was, I was around him. He was amazing to me, like just his, his quickness, his jumping ability, and his des desire to play. I'm gonna say um, it's just every, every um, away game. Every away game, you know, we, uh, we play dominoes, play spades. You know, just, just uh, having his company and, and being around him. In the five years since he left Utah Valley University, Price has endeared himself to the fans and coaches and fellow players around the NBA. But before he ever put ink to a pro contract, Price was already a legend in the hearts and minds of those who knew and watched him during his time in Orem. On behalf of the entire Utah Valley University community, the athletic department offers Ronnie Price sincere thanks for his example and friendship and heartfelt congratulations on his professional success and induction into the Utah Valley University Athletic Hall of Fame. I mean, I just hope that I'm fortunate enough to play this game for a long time. Um, I'll be that guy playing in rec leagues on, on <laughs> Wednesday nights <laughs> when I'm 50 just because I love the game that much. I'd just like to say congratulations, Ronnie. You're well deserved. I know that, uh, that people in the community have tremendous respect for you. Congratulations. And to continue to achieve, continue on, and it's more ahead. I'd just like to say to him that I'm proud of him. That's it. I just, I love him and I'm proud of, it, proud of him and his hard work and everything that he's gone through to get here. And I'm just so happy that he's living his dream and that he is happy every day doing the thing that he loves. And I'm just so proud of him. And I love him so much. Never once when he was at UVU did he ever, Utah Valley, did he ever give any, uh, and he was a superstar give any type of aura that he was too good for us or, or, or better than us or uh, I could do this somewhere else or you know and, and with that being said that he's, he's been extremely loyal and, and a proud to be part uh, from Utah Valley University and uh, I think again he really he believes that in his heart and uh, that he wouldn't be where he is today if it wasn't for his experience and playing at Utah Valley University so uh, 
I think those are the reasons and, and those are the, the things that stand behind him being inducted into the Hall of Fame.